this is Britt Caswell with another example video. In today's video, I'm covering example 5 from section 7-3 in the Savas Realize Algebra 2 textbook. The goal of today's video is to use any circle centered at the origin. Alright, so I'm taking an application problem and showing you how we can use a unit circle to help us to solve it. So this says that a group of rescue teams are searching in a circular area with a four mile radius around their camp. All right, so their camp is right here at the origin. It says one team travels on a path that's 30 degrees east of south. So here's south and they go 30 degrees east of it. And it wants to know what their final position relative to their camp is. So like how far south, how far east, essentially. All right. So now in order to do this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the special right triangle that's kind of nestled here. Because if I can find this val or the x and y values here on the unit circle, what I can then do is I can multiply those values by 4 to match their four their four units that they're using on their triangle or on their circle. Okay? So, I'm going to draw out this kind of junky special right triangle that I have. So there's that. This is 30 degrees. Here's 60 degrees. Definitely not drawn to scale. <laughs> Awkward. Now on a unit circle, the hypotenuse is 1, right? The short leg is half the length of the hypotenuse, so my short leg is 1 half. And my long leg is the square root of 3 times that 1 half. Now both of these values, um, the one half is positive because it's on the positive x-axis. The square root of 3 is n over 2 is negative because it's going down. This is just representing the south direction. Alright, so my ordered pair that I have is one half negative root 3 over 2. Now to kind of scale this up from being a unit circle to being a four mile radius circle, I'm going to take this ordered pair and multiply it times four. All right, so half of four is two, and four times root three over two is uh, root two over, root two three. Ah, negative two root three. I swear I could speak English. So if I were to describe this in a sentence, which is how we should always answer word problems, right? I would say the rescue team is two miles east, right? The two miles comes with the, the x-axis, which is going easterly, and about 3.5 miles south of their base camp. And I'm getting that 3.5 miles from doing two root three in my calculator. It's about 3.5 miles. Alrighty, so we're going to try that again, but now they're going to go in a different direction. Okay, so here's my roughly sketched unit circle. Actually, it's a lot better than I normally draw because I have the drawing tools on here, which is nice. So it says they're 30 degrees north of due west, and I'm like, where the heck is that? So here's west, here's north. So if they're 30 degrees north of due west... That would be 30 degrees here. All right, so we need to find that kind of x, y. And again, multiply it by four, uh, 5 now because they're saying this radius is 5. So let's give it a shot. So when I go to draw my 30, 60, 90... Right? Um, on a normal unit circle, my radius is 1, my short side is half of that, and my long side is root 3 over 2. So if I'm going to create this ordered pair, I recognize that I'm going west, so I need a negative on my x value here. 
So my ordered pair is negative root 3 over 2, comma, 1 half. And then now I'm going to scale that up to having a 5 mile radius, so I'm multiplying this whole thing by 5. And so the ordered pair that I'm describing is negative 5 root 3 over 2, ooh, that's hideous, comma, 5 halves. All right, so if I go through and I plug that 5 root 3 over 2 into a um, calculator, I get about 4.3 miles. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and explain this. Now that negative that's on the x-axis, remember that's just describing that it's going west. Okay, so the rescue team is about 4.3 miles west and 2.5 miles north of their base camp. So there we have it guys, that's how to use a circle that is centered at the origin. Until next time.